Good afternoon, Steady Trade Treats fans. I'm your host, Bryce Tui. And as we come to the end of the year, I wanted to do kind of the end of the year recap on three of the most important things I think you can do as a new trader. This applies to whether whether or not you're brand, brand new, or you're trying to find consistency, or maybe you just started to find a little consistency, but you don't know for sure if you're, it's something that you're going to be able to keep long term. So let's get right into this. Let's get started. The first thing I think you should do as a new trader is track every single trade you take, journal it in some way, whether that's on Excel, whether that's on Profitly. I think you should track everything, and especially when you're new, you might be under the PDT, so maybe you can only take three day trades a week, or maybe you have a cash account, and maybe you're taking a few more than that. When you're taking that few of trades, it can actually get a little bit easy to forget, you know, like what mistake did I make last time? What you want to do is Write down that trade and, you know, what did you do right? What did you do wrong? How can you improve next time? Keep it super simple. Write down those three things every time. And if you want to add to it, maybe post a screenshot of the chart. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that. That is tip number one. Um, something that helped me drastically in 2020 and that will keep helping me in 2021. And thing number two that you should do, again, that I, I still do when I'm going through a period of struggle, size down every time. And I think I, I made a video about this, like, it was. It might have even just been last week, but size down. It can be hard in this market, right, where everything is running so hot. Everything is so hot. Everything's going crazy. All you want to do is make money. It's all you care about. I get it. But it's weird. When you stop focusing on the money so much, it actually comes to you a lot easier. Uh, and that's what I've noticed in my experience. So if you're really struggling, if you're having a drawdown period, size down right away. People have asked me on Twitter, you know, like, well, how do you stop focusing on the profits and start focusing on the process? That's how. Make losing trades and winning trades so minimal dollar-wise that they don't matter to you. And number three, and this kind of goes, to, you know, maybe if you're having a period where you're struggling or maybe maybe it applies to your whole trading career. I don't know. And I think, I think any newer trader should do this regardless. And I think if you're struggling, you should also do this too. Stick to one setup. It's, again, there's so much happening right now that with one setup, you can make a lot of trades in a week still. Um, whether that's a short, like overextended gap down or a first red day or long, if it's the dip and rip, or if it's some kind of variation of your own, stick to one setup. But if you're brand new, I don't think you should be trading more than one, uh, one setup anyways. You really need to learn to get consistent with one and it's going to take some trial and error. Find what's comfortable for you. And again, it's trial and error. You're going to learn what's comfortable for you through your own experience, through your trading journal, and use all of that data that you've collected. Again, you should be tracking it if you're following my number one tip there. And refine it based on your data. Refine it based on what's most comfortable for you. Refine it based on what works for you. And then once you become consistent with that, start adding in. So those are my three biggest tips. Uh, like I said, track everything. Size down when needed and stick to one setup. That's what you need to use. That mindset is what you need to use going to 2021. I'm, I'm excited to see you all crush it. I am not going to be here on Friday. There will be no study trade treats. Um, it is the new year. So I'm looking forward to being back with you guys on Monday. And let's get 2021 kicked off right. See you guys then.